life is going to happen. And you're going to set up a plan and you're going to have a vision and you're going to hope that it's going to turn out perfect. But what so often happens in life is that things get burned and things go the wrong way. And it's in that moment that you're going to have to choose your reaction. Do you have a choice to make? Do you have the right reaction or do you have the wrong reaction? You have to get up. Sometimes life will take you to your knees. Sometimes you have to cry. Sometimes will hurt deep inside. In time of adversity, you don't have an obstacle to deal with. You have a choice to make. You will fail. You will likely fail often. It will be painful. It will be discouraging. At times, it will test you to your very core. You're thinking about quitting. You're thinking about giving up. You are folding. You are caving in. This is for you. Don't give up. Don't give up. Stay in it. Stay focused. If it feels kind of dark all around you right now, I want to remind you, it is always the darkest before dawn. There's one thing about being in dark places. If you have the courage to stay in there long enough, your eyes will start to adjust to the darkness. Your body and mind will always adjust to more suffering, to more pain. If you want to push harder, know this. Your mind quits way before your body does. So you have to be willing to go way into that darkness and find more of yourself. You gotta look at light when light knocks you down and says, this all you got in the dark? Is this it? I was born in the dark, shaped in the dark, molded by the dark. I will break you. You recycle your pain. You use your pain. You take your pain and let your pain push you to another level. And I want you to hear what I'm telling you. Some of you are soft, but you were born in the dark and now you're soft. Every time you come up to a challenge, you quit, you surrender, you give up, you give in. Every single time I'm going through pain, I remember that I've gone through pain since I was a kid. I draw from it, recycle your pain. Get something from it. You're already in pain. Use it, do something with it. Allow it to take you to the next level. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. Push through pain enough and there's glory on the other side. But you gotta get through it. The sun doesn't shine every day. The storms will come. If you are going to try something hard, if you're putting yourself out there in some way, there are gonna be times where you screw up or you don't succeed. There are times where you do everything right and you still don't succeed. You'll go through some failures. There will be times when the darkness seems to consume everything. And many times when those things happen, you want to give up. But during those down moments, that's where the growth takes place. That's where the work is. See, anybody can feel good when they have their health, their bills are paid, they have happy relationships. Anybody could be positive then. Anybody can have a larger vision then. Anybody can have faith under those kinds of circumstances. See, but the real challenge, the real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. When you're going through tough situations, you gotta take that next step. You gotta keep moving forward. You keep standing. No matter how rough the sea, you keep standing. No matter what you don't give up, you keep standing, no matter what. We decide which moments define us. Will it be the moment we get knocked down? Or will it be the moment when we get back up? Take that next step, keep moving forward. And, and I think that the most important thing is to learn from those failures. Uh, and to have a sense of resilience and be able to examine what is it that I did not succeed at? Why didn't I succeed? And what do I need to do better? You lay hold of it 
And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. Some of you are so ignorant. You've been through so much hell. You gonna quit now? You should have quit 10 years ago when he walked out on you. You don't quit now. You should have broke me a long time ago. I'm unbreakable now. And we've all had experiences where we were working on something and we knew it was possible and we did those things that were necessary to bring it into reality. We took the responsibility to make it happen. Other people couldn't see it. A lot of people didn't believe it. You were attacked, you were criticized. People were opposing you, but you kept on doing it. It was hard, it was rough, it was difficult, but to you, it was worth it. And eventually you got to a level you know, can nothing stop me now. I'm on the move. I'm on the move. You can't quit. I know it would be momentary relief, but can you see past the expense to see the benefit? Life will knock us down, but we can choose, matter or not, to get back up. That's the only way you ever get where you want to go. You have to take a path that's dangerous, and most people want to take the safe path. And the safe path leaves you stuck in quiet desperation. The way you can change is you have to put aside enough money to give yourself a window, and then you have to have a plan, and you have to spend all your waking hours outside of whatever shit job you do planning your escape. So whatever you're doing, you have to do it like your life depends yes. on it. You got to go. You got to get after it. And you got to have discipline. Most people don't have those things. Most people don't understand what it's like to really go for something and to know that the consequences of not doing that are horrific. If you need to change your job too, let's say you have a family and children and, and a mortgage, you have responsibilities. You've already picked up those responsibilities. You don't just get to walk away scot-free and say, well, I don't like my job, I quit. That's no strategy. But what you might have to do is you think, well, this job is killing my soul. All right, so what do I have to do about that? Well, I have to look for another job. Well, no one wants to hire me. It's like, okay, maybe you need to educate yourself. Maybe you need to sharpen your social skills. Like, you, you have to think about these things strategically. If you're going to switch careers, you have to do it like an intelligent person. That might take you a couple of years of, of, of effort to do properly. We're built for struggle, us human beings. We're built to contend with the world. We're built to contend with reality. You want a challenge, and the best way that you can take on a challenge, because a challenge fortifies you. So you don't want to be secure, you want to be strong. And you get strong by taking on optimal challenges. And so you lay out your destiny in the world and you take the slings and arrows of fate and you make yourself stronger while you're doing so. And you might fail and fortune might do you in, but it's your best bet. What you're missing is the courage to take action in the direction of your dreams because it's irresponsible to do what you really want to do or so we've been told. If you just follow your heart, just follow that strange thing that's happening inside you, you will end up 10 times better, miles ahead, miles ahead of all those people who did what they were told. And those miles ahead are very subjective. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to make more money than them or you're going to be more rich and famous than them, but you will be more at peace. You will have more peace of mind. You will be more in love with yourself in your life. The people around you will enjoy your company that much more. You'll sleep better at night. You'll smile, you'll laugh, you'll dance. You'll enjoy this life 10 times better than if you were to follow what everyone else told you to do. I couldn't have planned that, but I did one thing. I followed my heart every step of the way. It looks crazy in the beginning, but it all starts to make sense as you go down that path. That's why I say you have to follow your heart, not because of the thing that your heart is telling you to do at this particular moment, but because of the journey your heart will take you on. It's gonna take you on a incredible journey. The end point of that journey or how you fare along that journey will be filled with love and pleasure and joy because your heart is involved with the work. Ignore sensibility, ignore responsibility, 
listen to your body, follow your heart, and you'll enjoy this journey of life. It won't always be easy, but it'll be yours.